These daily guided meditations for transcendence are brought to you for free. If you enjoy them and would like to support the channel, you can hop on www.buymeacoffee.com slash rath, R-A-P-H, and buy me a coffee or join one of our memberships to enjoy some exclusive perks such as private posts, videos, and podcasts. That's buymeacoffee.com slash rath, R-A-P-H. Thank you so much for your generosity and support. Hello dear meditators, dear friends, welcome back to the channel. Today is day 11 from our 100 days meditation for transcendence challenge right here on this channel, whether you're listening on YouTube or on the podcast. I'm so glad to have you with us today. I appreciate you and I appreciate you to take the time to meditate and to, you know, to become better human beings through mindfulness practices. I would like to celebrate you. I would like to gift you a 50% off discount. It's an exclusive discount for our subscribers to the weekly letter, to the YouTube uh, channel, and also to the podcast. You get a 50% discount on the pre-launch of our newest course, which is Transcendence and Meditation, a superpower for your mind, body, and soul. We get really deep into that course. We have hours of content And we're going to go into the theory, the philosophy, the practice, different types of meditation for transcendence, including mantra-based meditation, and much more. So check out the link in the description below and in the show notes if you're listening on the podcast. Also, make sure that you subscribe to the free weekly letter where I share some thoughts on meditation, on philosophy, on how to live a good life. Every week I send you this. I also send you the meditation schedule, if there's a schedule to be shared. Uh, And uh, yeah, that's about it. Let's start in today's meditation. Make sure you won't be disturbed for 20-25 minutes. If you can spare an extra five minutes at the end to do a little contemplation on the quote I will give you, on a thought, on um, a little emotion maybe perhaps, something to ponder on during the day or at least after the meditation when your mind is calm, when you have stillness and when you, you have created through meditation this big space, this creative space to think of life's most important questions. So we'll do that at the end. If you want to follow, you just have to listen until the end this meditation. I really highly recommend that you do. Sometimes it might be long for a few people. I know that reproducing the sound at the end is also quite challenging for some, but, you know, practice, 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 practice. It doesn't make you perfect, but it will make you better. And so Let's begin today's meditation. Make sure that you're sitting nice and comfortably, either on a chair or on the floor. You don't have to have any kind of fancy posture for this meditation, as long as you're nice and tall, nice and straight, that you're sitting with dignity, chin in, chest out, shoulders far from the ears. We start these meditations by dedicating it to someone. It can be anybody, somebody that you love, somebody that you're having challenges with. It can be yourself also, if this is what you need at this very moment in time. You can let me know in the comments section below who you're dedicating it to. I will answer you. And the way we do this is very simple. We close our eyes. We put our hands to our heart, either are in a praying position or palms on the chest, whatever feels the mo- most natural to you. Deep inhale in through the nose. And on the exhalation, we project our love, gratitude, and appreciation towards that person. And you can also visualize that person receiving your love, receiving your energy, receiving your good thoughts. You can do this once or twice or three times and notice how those exhalations help you to relax more, to settle in, to get ready for the meditation to feel connected to something bigger than yourself and to release tensions not only in your body but also in your mind and in your heart and your soul. In a few moments you will be introduced to a sound, a vibration. You will put your focus and attention on that vibration and you will follow that vibration during the entirety of this meditation session. You'll do this as gently, softly and effortlessly as possible keeping the sound on the foreground of your mind. When thoughts come, don't 
engage your ego, don't engage your judgments. This is perfectly normal. It is perfectly natural. It is part of the process of meditation. So don't judge your meditation session. Don't judge yourself, your ability to meditate. And don't judge the thoughts. Don't try to categorize the thoughts. And certainly don't try to eliminate the thoughts. When you catch yourself thinking, go back to the sound as gently, as softly, as effortlessly as possible. Putting the sound back on the center stage of your inner personal space. When the sound fades out, let it resonate in your own mind for a few extra moments, keeping it alive, reproducing it in your mind.
we now let go of the vibration the meditation session is over just let it go don't cling on to it you can always come back to it later today or tomorrow stay there get reacquainted to the sensations in your body if you felt any numbness or tingling sensations that's perfectly okay take a nice deep breath and open your eyes get reacquainted to the environment around you to the space you're in notice what's familiar what's new notice objects colors shapes shadows but also sounds and smells Really take your time here, I highly recommend you stay at least 4-5 or five minutes seated before you go back to your daily activities. And before I let you go, I would like to give you a quote from one of my favorite philosophers. If you know me, you guessed who it is. Very easy, the Emperor of Rome, Marcus Aurelius, one of the first Stoic philosophers. He said, waste no more time arguing what a good man should be, be one. Let me know in the comment section how this resonates with you. For me, it's very simple. It's basically walk the talk, right? Don't just philosophize. It's good to study philosophy, but we don't want to become life librarians. We want to become life warriors. We want to battle real dragons. The dragons being obstacles, challenges, all of those adversities that makes us stronger. That makes us res respect ourselves more because we build the trust in knowing that we know how to respond to these difficult events and that these difficult events are inevitable and that's a good thing otherwise life would be boring right and so yes it is important to study and this is what we do a lot on this channel we study philosophy mindfulness but it's really important to take action not only to study the meditations, but to practice them every day. Not only to learn about virtues, but to practice them. To practice the wisdom, to practice the courage. To face fear right in the eye and say, bring it on. To experience love, to experience curiosity, to experience zest to making sure that you have the best energy possible to do the best work so that you can contribute your uniqueness to the world, so that you can tap into your infinite potential. So let me know your thoughts on this subject. I want to read the quote one more time and then I'll let you go. Waste no more time arguing what a good man should be. Be one. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate you, I see you, I feel you. I'm so appreciative to be part of your lives every single day, to be part of your journeys through meditation, through the podcast, through the blog, with the letter. I love sharing little events of my life with you in that weekly letter. So thank you for reading. Thank you for listening. I'm really very, very grateful to you guys. Uh, of course, I, I do watch a few YouTube videos and uh, I'm, I'm really in awe too. A lot of the people on this channel, the way you communicate to me, to each other, uh, it's absolutely fantastic. So thank you so much. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Press the like button. This helps the YouTube algorithm share this meditation or this whole challenge with somebody that might benefit from it. Leave a review if you're on the podcast. Subscribe to the letter if you've not done so already on www.rafaelwriter.com. It's on the home page. You have nothing else to click. And that's it. And of course, the course, you get a 50% discount to show my appreciation towards you guys and to celebrate you taking this 100 days challenge for meditation. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.